all right what is going on guys uh today we're going to be talking about the uh the weapons the meta and the character meta so uh this is going to be kind of a two uh phase video so let's just start with the first one um fuel um first part is let's go over the katana and what's changed with it so the first thing that's changed is now you can no longer get the combo that you used to and because of that it kind of made the katana a little bit worse but also in a way kind of a slight buff so you can no longer get the guaranteed uh damage of that third hit while they're in the air that's no longer possible and since it's no longer possible you really like have to play it as a mind game you stay you can still get the damage but you can't get that same damage uh guaranteed so if you do this that's still guaranteed but that third hit here that's not guaranteed anymore now if your opponent doesn't move let's say they just stay down and they do this you'll hit them if they stay down and they do a light you will hit them the only way for them to get out of that is to roll that's your only option so the only way to stop that last hit from being guaranteed is if your opponent rolls. And what this opens up is whenever you do this, if you think they're going to roll, you can delay it. And then you can actually tech chase with that. And it's, I mean, so good at tech chasing, it's not even funny. Trust me when I say it, you want them to, uh, to roll because that tech chases so well. So that's pretty much your, your difference with that combo. Now, you actually can do this still. So that's still a great combo. So nothing changed with that one. And you can even still do this one here. Which is... And that's still a good combo. So that's your optimal right there. Um, and that's pretty much your katana uh, combo. Nothing changed with your counter. Uh, for katana, you can, you can still get this. And your jump. Right? So that's still there. That Nothing has changed with that. Okay? Um, so everything there is still the exact same. So... Katana pretty much uh, stayed the same. You can still get your stun lock here into that. That's all guaranteed. This is all guaranteed damage. So you can only get one uh, with the katana. So yeah, that's all, you know, how it's supposed to be. Um, and that's pretty much everything for the katana. So before I get started with the other weapons, I just want to say that uh, before patch, katana was the only weapon that had omnidirectional uh, iframes, which is the little white flash, right? Before with the long sword, your left it wasn't you didn't have iframes, and your right you didn't have iframes. Uh, so now all the weapons in the game, all of them have omnidirectional iframes, which means that completely changed the meta up for these weapons. So uh, I wanted to say that because everyone already knew this about the katana, but what they didn't know is that this patch that came out uh, two days ago changed that for all of the weapons. So now every weapon has that. So that's extremely good. That completely changed the meta. Uh, now let's talk about the long sword. So the long sword, this one, this one's going to take quite a while. So just kind of bear with me here. Um, long sword, two picking is still possible. Now the bot can dodge out of it in local, but the moment you're online, you actually can't get out of it. So two picking is still in the game, which is this combo here. So that's still a combo in the game. Now, even though like people are like. Saying that two picking is so powerful, it shouldn't be in the game. Every weapon in this game can get combo damage, like so. And I'll prove that to you. I'll show that to you. So two picking is not a problem. Uh, it's always I, I feel like it needs to be in this game. If you take out two picking, then you take out, you know, the possibility of people being able to do serious damage with this weapon, which is the only thing that's stopping people from spamming, um, like their focus attacks or whatnot, or just playing really, really baity and staying away from people you know the aggressive with this weapon is its downside that's the only weakness to the long sword is that if you get too aggressive and you're in their face and you can take damage because it has pretty like lengthy animations that you can punish through so two picking is still in the game and that's important now one thing that's changed about uh this weapon is that uh number one this uh counter now uh you no longer can get the guaranteed stun lock uh, after you get your your counter so what that means is um, whenever you do this this is no longer guaranteed anymore okay now what you can do is you can do this into your two picking combo right and that gives you some serious serious damage okay 
Now, I know I'm not going into detail on how to uh, to do these combos. I'm kind of going off of the fact like that if you know like how it looks, then you can go off of it. But if you guys want, I can hop out of it and basically show you how to do that combo. So it would look something like this. You just countered, right? You do that. And as you do your first hit, then you want to do this. Hit shift, hit right click, hold shift, hit right click, and then crouch uh, right uh, click and then w one two and then that's how it will look so all together counter this and that's how it will look so one more time if you were to uh basically do it from the counter so you do counter this and that's how it would look okay so that's the essence of this combo so to do the two picking combo all you got to do is just uh first you have to uh hit your light right hit your guaranteed light first then hold shift and then hit right uh, mouse button, hold shift, hit right mouse button, hold shift, hit right mouse button. You do that twice. And then after you get the second one, then you hit crouch uppercut, which is crouch left click. I mean right click. Crouch right click. And then W. And then left mouse button, right mouse button. And that's how you would do the two picking combo. So um, just know that if you get a counter and um, you're trying to get some guaranteed damage, so this is the problem uh, with this weapon is that you can often be out of range. So if that's the case, this is what you want to do, okay? So that way you always can guarantee yourself getting some sort of damage, okay? So let's say you're out of range. You just run up and do that, and you get your two-picking combo instead of going for the counter, okay? So that's like how you want to do it if you're too far away. Because if you're too far away, then you won't be able to get any damage. So the reason why I kept uh, countering and going straight into this is because I've actually just trained myself most memory-wise to go for this instead because it gives you more damage than your counter anyway the counter can only give you so much damage so if you just go ahead and um do that instead even let's say you get the counter there's no point in actually going into your counter uh like uh ability unless you want the gold frames it's just better to do this because this is more damaging than all of that you know so that's the combo that you can get if you just did it so it's like there's no point in countering with the long sword, like actually going for the actual attack, just because it's not really worth it. Unless you're going to do the uh, the first hit into your two picking combo. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, how it is with the long sword right now. And since the long sword is uh, now omnidirectional with the iframes, that means that this weapon just got a huge boost because you can do all of this and be safe now. So that is super, super good. Um, you definitely want to abuse all of that right now. Now let's move on to uh, the dagger and the spear. Um, so the dagger, now it has got some pretty major changes, okay? So um, if you didn't know, uh, first up, uh, Katana... Uh, Let's just go over to, uh, something on the katana real quick if you didn't know. Katana, you can hit confirm off of that. You can hit confirm off of the dash attack of that. So with the katana, you can only hit confirm off of your left clicks, okay? You can't hit confirm off of any of your right clicks at all. So that's your hit confirms on the katana, all right? So now since we got that out of the way, let's move back to what I was talking about. So with the dagger, you can't hit confirm off of your horizontal attack or your vertical attack, or even your uh, your dash vertical attack. The only thing that you can uh, you can't even do it off of your uh, your dash uh, horizontal attack. The only hit confirm that you have off the dagger is off of your vertical focus strike and off of your soul break. Uh, now, so basically, the way that you do this is it looks. It, I'll just show you what it looks like first. So. It So that's what it would look like. And that's actually a hit confirm. That's You can hit confirm off of Soul Break. And all you have to do is shift and then get your combo here. So um, now the ledge there kind of messed up that. that but that's a, that's the combo that you want to use. So you can hit confirm off of Soul Break now. I would recommend if you want to get the inputs of it, first you do the slight, then you dash backward, right? And then you do your Soul Break. So once you're in Soul Break, before it lands, right before it lands, you want to hit uh, S, you want to hit Shift, Crouch, Uppercut. Shift, Crouch, uh, 
right click basically and this is what it would look like uh in the game uh so basically what you would do is you would do this to get your light that in order to uh, get your dagger dash and then soul break so while you're in soul break then you want to do shift crouch right bumper and it's literally that easy while you're in soul break right before soul break hits so let's say you just hit soul break shift crouch uppercut okay so that's pretty much how your inputs look so one more time this is what it'll look like and that's a hit confirm into all of that damage that's guaranteed so that's one of the things that you can hit confirm off of with the dagger the only other option that you have off of the dagger is this same thing now the timing for this is very very specific but it is it's possible all you have so i normally do it right before the second hit is about to land and that is what allows me to get this pretty consistently and it'll look something like that and that's how the combo would look and you'll know you did it right right uh if they actually get juggled from it which means that they actually can't get out of it so those are your only two hit confirms now the dagger has the same problem um, that uh, the longsword has, which is sometimes you can get a parry and it can hit them and you can't get there in time. So what I would do, what I would recommend is just running up, hitting that, and then getting the combo that I said before. So if you want to uh, maximize your combo damage from the counter, again, dagger is one of those weapons where if you get it, you're better up just running up to them, getting that, and then doing this. And then getting your uh, combo like so, okay? So now since we got that out of the way, uh, what has the dagger uh, changed now? So basically the change that they made to the dagger is that now uh, whenever you dagger dash, you can immediately go into this quicker and you can immediately go into this. And this also has quicker, I mean, better range. The attack is slower now, but the range on it is ridiculous. Like look at that range. You pretty much, you're guaranteeing, you know, to hit somebody if they're running away yeah they're not they're not getting away from you with this weapon so this weapon has the best like close out distance in the game right now so that's really important to note but a mind game that you can play with the dagger now is basically do this that's a mind game and then this uh, that's an unreactable mind game by the way too uh because you can't react to that right you can't light that in time. So that's a, just a true mind game that you can play. And especially if there's ping problems or whatever. So that's something. But also what's important is you can actually delay this attack. So you can just stay here and delay it like so. And that gives you an even better mind game. And the reason why you want to play off of this is because, again, it's your hit confirm. So you definitely want to play off of that. So that's kind of uh, the changes that they made to the dagger is that now this is a lot faster. So you can literally spam that and go crazy. So that's a really, really powerful thing that you can now do with the dagger. And um, that's pretty much everything uh, for the dagger right now. So your basic like combo with the dagger is something like this. You get your two hits, do that, one, two, one. That's your first combo there. And then your easier combo, which is you just do this. You do one, two, and then jump, one, two, that. And that's your easier combo. So they're pretty self-explanatory if you want to get the uh the other one that gives you more damage what you have to do is you have to del you have to hold down the left mouse button instead of double tapping it like so so i'll show you this uh, by hopping out real quick so instead of double tapping it and then jumping and double tapping in order to get the b and b in order to get that one that does just a little bit more damage what you have to do is you have to first let's say you got your uppercut right then you want to hold and then you want to move forward hit this and then jump short hop again hold it and then that so all together it will look like something like this uppercut right hold it right move forward a little bit once you're on the ground press your uh, left mouse button to get that light and then jump up hold and then right click so it look like this now i delayed that uh that hit a little bit so that would have wouldn't have been guaranteed but it is a guaranteed combo i just messed up the timing there so that's everything for the dagger that i have for you so let's move on to the spear okay so the spear now again omnidirectional so that's really powerful because that was one of its um 
its uh its problems before it wasn't omnidirectional so now since this weapon is omnidirectional it kind of took away the weakness which is it, it having lengthy animations and you couldn't get out of it because you didn't have iframes everywhere you went so now since you have iframes you can now just do this and this is actually a pretty like nasty mind game because uh because the range on this is so good, and since you can just constantly just step out of range, that makes this super, super powerful to do. So, uh, the range on this is ridiculous, by the way. So, like, look at that. That's ridiculous. And if you hold it, you can actually go even further. So, you definitely want to spam that. And, um, like, a really cool thing that you can do in order to, like, really piss people off, but also it's just really, really good because of the way that the stagger is built into the spear. It just do this. And stagger that because it's really hard to tell if you're going to do this until you're guaranteed because that right there is guaranteed they can't get out of that and since a lot of people know that they can't get out of that and that spear has two hitting um light attacks so every light attack that you have with the spear is going to hit twice okay so because people know that they're going to respect your lights a lot more so you can really just stagger this a lot and it's a really easy stagger now you got to get the timing of that down but if you can learn to stagger that, you're literally going to just see people just sitting there waiting for your second attack. And then they're like, wait, he's just staggering that. And then they're going to try to get out. And then that's when you hit them with your uh, next guaranteed. And then you can go into like your pressure or whatnot. So you can do something like this. And that's like your guaranteed hits. Or you can just do this. And then bait it into something like so. And then go crazy. So the spear is a really good weapon because it has the best slice in the game. And oftentimes, whenever you clash with people, they'll take more damage because the class is based on how much damage your lights do. And since that does a lot of damage, they're going to take a lot more damage from the class. You pretty much always win clashes with the uh, spear. And it, damage wise, not like you win clashes or something like that frame data wise but damage wise you always give more damage to him so it's a really good weapon to clash with now a way to counter this is simply to crouch because both of those uh hits whiff so even though this is really powerful uh a spamming uh you can you can just duck under it if they keep doing this so that's a way to counter it but nevertheless let's talk about some uh spear combos so from your just hitting that move so this gives you the most uh like combo damage i believe i've seen in the game so far so that is the most combo of damage i've seen off of any one combo and that's all guaranteed by the way so um that is a really nasty combo and they can't get out of it so the way that you do it now this one's pretty complicated uh so i'll, I'll just explain it first so first thing you want to do is you want to charge this too once you get here you press right click all right and if you just tap it once it'll do it once and whenever it does it once they're in enough hit stuns where you can crouch, uppercut. And whenever they do that, whenever they crouch, uppercut, um, whenever you crouch, uppercut, you're able to do left mouse bumper, and that gives you this animation here. That does a lot of damage. So then whenever you do that, you want to jump, short hop, and then hit it again. So all together, it'll one more time. And that's your combo. And that is the most damage I've seen off of one, like, combo, uh like that that's pretty powerful and also uh, you can do this off of counter too and as you can see that is a lot of damage so that is pretty much everything that I want you guys to know about on the uh, the spear right now that's your combo for the spear so last but not least Let's talk about these two weapons here. So, in the patch notes, they talk about how they made it to where you can switch between your weapons. Uh, they adjusted the time. Now, I don't know if they buffed it or they nerfed it or whatever they did. But whatever they did, all I know is that this feels extremely fluent. So, the reason why I use the musket now um, is because, number one, they buffed the bullet speed, the velocity super super quickly so look at how much faster that this travels so this shot like i mean you don't have to track nearly as much as you have to or predict movements you can actually just hit people so this weapon on top of it having this generous uh hitbox right where you don't actually have to hit them and you can still get the hit you see what i'm saying 
So like, see what I'm saying? It has that generous hitbox. Uh, that on top of the bullet velocity makes this the best weapon in the uh, game range wise. Because uh, 365 or 364 is a lot of damage for this weapon. So if you can get used to hitting your shots or hitting people, you can get some serious damage. Some serious, serious damage. So I would definitely recommend this weapon and I would definitely recommend using it. So that's everything for the musket. I believe that it's the best ranged weapon in the game right now. Um, now let's talk about the greatsword. And this is the last thing that I'm going to mention about the greatsword. So um, the greatsword right now, uh, after the patch notes, what they did was this no longer whiffs. So this will always hit them if they're in front of you. Now, everyone who's like kind of keeping up with the meta, they know that that doesn't whiff now. So that that's pretty cool and that's dandy and everything. And that hit for a lot, as you can see. That that does a lot of damage for one hit. Um, so that's a really good mind game because you can actually mix it up with the focus attack, right? Or just letting it fly. So that's why that's such a nasty mind game, which makes this weapon a three touch guaranteed weapon. If you play this weapon right, you can literally just play off of this. And that's unreactable, by the way. You can't you can't react to that. You, you have to just choose which one you're gonna you're gonna respect and which one you're not gonna respect. The only way to get out of it is to iframe. So if you don't iframe or if you lost energy or you already iframe and they're still chasing you, you're getting hit. Now, what's cool is that this actually allows for you to change your direction as you're uh as you're doing it now it, it wasn't allowing you to do this before the patch but now since they made it to where this is completely controlled by the player what you can do now is if you're doing this and people dodge you can go crazy and turn it around because the biggest problem with this weapon before was the tracking and i said that i said if the tracking was a little bit better or we had control over it then i would put this weapon a lot higher so now since this doesn't whiff nearly as much well it doesn't whiff at all if you if they're in front of you uh, and you can control it. Let's say if someone tries to go behind you and you do this and they try to go behind you, you can just turn it around and still hit them. So this adds a skill gap to the greatsword because this move now no longer whiffs. Okay. So that's really powerful because that's always been what you want to do. And since, again, the greatsword is now uh, having uh, omnidirectional iframes, what that means is that now you can actually play the dodge game off of your stone uh, hinge. So, so yeah, now you can do stuff like that where you can like dodge after and, and go crazy. So you can dodge after and go into your uh, form. So you no longer have to sit there and like whenever you get hit by people, you just have to keep suffering the hit because if you don't suffer the hit, then you're going to get put in this state where like... You can't dodge out of it because there weren't iframes before. So now since there are iframes, what you can do is you can like take the hit, suffer, like uh, like let them clank. And once you clank, you can dodge to the side and then go crazy and get that hit, right? And the reason why this is so good is because if you dodge iframe into that, nothing can stop you because lights, you clank with lights whenever you're in that, uh, in this form. If they hit you before this, you clank, right? Before you hear your shing. You, like it, while you're doing this, you're completely invulnerable to lights. Lights can't get through you wh whenever you're doing that. So because of that, that makes eye framing after you stone so, so, so powerful. You literally just guarantee yourself a clank, which means you now have a true mind game. And since you have a true mind game, which means you can you can now actually afford to like crouch into uppercut. So now you can actually do something like, let's say you just clanked. Crouch uppercut. And that actually is a thing because people like to counter. So this is now actually good. So you can actually do stuff like that now. I'll give you an example. See right there. I don't know if you could see it or not, but basically what I did was um I allowed for my uh bot to hit my stone and then I dove out of for the iframes first because you want to of course respect their next hit. Because if you just do it, then you might get hit. And then I did this in the crouch. Uh, I sprint, dodge, into crouch, into uppercut in order to get that damage. So that allows for me to get all of that juicy damage. So that's really what you want to do with the greatsword now in order to really punish people heavily. This wasn't really uh, that potent before because this didn't have an iron frame. So they can hit you out of it. 
if you tried to do that and you only could like sit there and like do stone into crouch into uppercut but that just took way too long and uh it just wasn't as consistent as it was as it is now so now you really want to sit there and dodge into that and then just aim it because that's a really good mind game to have out of your stone age uh, your stone form so now since i pretty much talked about all of the weapons and what they're capable of doing um let's talk about the actual current meta so i just believe that all of the weapons in this game if you know combos if you're able to hit confirm if you're able to play this uh game at the highest level or play it at a good level then i believe at high level so i have two different tiers here i have a high level tier list and then a casual uh tier list so high level number one is the dagger number two is the great sword number three would be the long sword number four would be the uh, spear and number five it would be the katana so i will go ahead and i will explain this really quick so high level dagger has the best uh like spacing uh and because they gave it an increased uh distance on the uh, dagger dash you can now just hover in and out of range which boosts the whole idea of like pairing that with a range weapon so now this becomes a really nasty thing that you can do okay so that is just super super good now you know so and then on top of that dagger has the best closeout distance it has some of the highest combo damage in the game second only to the spear combo um so yeah that is extremely extremely powerful dagger is the best weapon in the game still to this day second up i'm gonna have to give it to the uh, great sword because number one it, it it's a two touch weapon if you play it right it's a three touch weapon if you play it like just a regular person um that knows how to play at high level uh even if you don't have great reaction time or whatever uh but another reason why is because now since it has iframes you can literally like like dodge a focus attack and immediately charge that junk for the first one because the first charge in this is super quick right that's a really quick charge that's super super quick and it does literally a bar of damage the first charge so because of that the great sword really is so good at like you can use it as like a counter attacking weapon and because of the mind games that you can have now this is a high level uh the great sword second best weapon in the game third place goes to the long sword because of course the two picking combo is super powerful but not only that uh long sword has i mean some of the best the, not some of the best the best range in the game and if you know how to turn around and all of that sorry for the frame skip i'm recording and it's taking a lot from the pc but um the long sword has some of the best range you can play it as a hit and run now since you have uh the best you have iframes in every direction doing this in front of somebody is now so powerful because you have iframes going forward which is really good because you can just completely get out of people's frames so the long sword is super 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 good your combo your counter combo so heavy damage two touch weapon if you know what you're doing so great weapon only reason why it's not in second place is because uh if you get close you really put yourself in a bad position unlike the great sword and since the great sword has better tracking and you don't whiff there's no such thing as whiffing with the great sword you can whiff a lot you can get crouched with this weapon can't be crouch you can't whiff with the great sword you always get a hit if you made a read they're getting hit if you're playing the great sword right the long sword you can be crouched the long sword you can whiff a lot the long sword sometimes you can get cheated out of things you know so that's the reason why it's in third place and not in second place and of course uh the great sword you don't have to learn combos it's just super straightforward and powerful at what it does it's very this is what's coming this is what's happening you have to guess it and you guess wrong you're getting half of your life taken from you from one hit so plus the great sword has better mind games than the long sword the long sword doesn't have super great mind games just has a really good combo damage and one mind game to really work with here uh actually three so long sword is in third place now fourth place goes to the spear uh because um the spear has only one problem uh and it's a it's a very blaring problem is that it takes so long for everything to come out 
that you literally can just iframe it and then jump to get out of all of its animations that are not its lights. That's how bad, like, easily countered this weapon is. All you have to do is literally just run away, dash, and then jump. And nothing that the spear does can hit you. But the, the good thing about this weapon is that the range is so, so good. It's so, so powerful. Um, you have the best combo damage in the game. Uh, so it's just super, super good. Like, you hit them once, and this is actually a two-touch weapon guaranteed. Like, there's not no, uh, uh. The only problem is it has a big glaring problem. Which is that its animations take so long that if you whiff, you're pretty much getting punished. But now, since it has omnidirectional uh, iframes, it is so, so much better at being able to like get out of those sticky situations that it puts itself in with its animations. And that's the reason why it's in fourth place and not fifth place. Um, so, the spear is only going to be super, super good if you can play it high level. Uh, now let's talk about the katana. Now this is going to be controversial me putting it in the last spot. Now let me just say that all of these weapons. So S plus is the dagger and the great sword and the long sword. S minus is the uh, the spear and the uh, katana. So there's no such thing as like a bad weapon in this game. All these weapons are good. I'm just talking about whenever you're playing them at the highest uh, level, they definitely start to lose a lot. You, you start to see the strengths of uh, certain weapons over others. And the reason why the katana is in last place is because, um, number one, you lost a lot of your one-frame links that you had into great, great, great damage. Um, now your, your your combos are just very lackluster. Um, the katana, it, it hits extremely, extremely fast. That's, the, that's the, the plus side to the katana, is that you can go into your focus attack really really fast and it hits really really hard but the problem with that is that um the katana in a way because you always hit so so fast you force people to play faster and whenever people are playing faster or they don't want to deal with your fast stuff they just get out of your way and the katana's range has never been great <laughs> so this this katana it really is only in last place because the range on it isn't that great and since like you can actually option select its uh its move with the iframe since counter is awful god awful i'm actually gonna be posting a video about that later um so the iframes on the katana it really just makes it to where you can get out of both of the charge options and option select it if you don't go for a counter so if you just go for an iframe you can completely get out of all of the katana's animations okay now there's counterplay to it, so like I said, it's still a great weapon, and it does really good damage, and you have really good mind games. Uh, for example, instead of doing this into this, which is what a lot of people expect, you can do um, this into this, and that gives you a free combo. So that's a really good mind game that you have, right? So like I said, it's still a great weapon and has great mind games, and by all means, I'm not saying that this is a bad weapon. All I'm saying is that the combo damage is not as good as the others, and you're a little bit more, you have to play a lot more risky with this weapon. Now, granted, you have stun locks, which is good. The, the spear doesn't have a stun lock, uh, but the katana does have a stun lock. Um, so it is still a good weapon. It's just, it cannot beat the range of certain other weapons and the movement of certain other weapons. Um, and they, could just, they can just do, they hit a lot harder. And yeah, so that is my tier list. Now we're going to get on to the casual tier list of these weapons so casual tier list i'm going to say it number one great sword against a casual great sword dominates i mean absolutely dominates okay um that will be the number one choice the second choice would actually be the long sword because long sword has really really easy mind games really really good range so the long sword is super super damaging even if you don't know a combo you can just play off of that one focus attack and and be goaded okay so long sword is super super good it will be the second best weapon for a casual who's not very into like tech and high and high level or whatever then third it will have to be the spear and 
the spear and the long sword are really kind of in that same category, but the long sword has a lot more depth, so I have to give it. Because if you learn just a little, if you learn a combo with the long sword, you can stun lock a lot easier and all of that. But then I would have to give it to the spear because the spear has a really, really, really good mind game. And it's super, super easy to sit there and just left click. <laughs> so the spear is really, really good. And plus, it, it makes people scared really, really easily. So the spear would go into third place. Fourth place would go to the katana. Because the katana is super, super good and super, super easy to use. Um, and since you have that very easy delay of the katana strike... It makes it really, really nasty to uh, to play. So then fifth place would go to the dagger. And the reason why I say this is because the dagger is not an easy weapon to use. It's very easily countered if you play it like a noob. But if you play it like a pro, it's the hardest weapon in this game to beat. So that's just how I feel because most casuals, they don't really understand a lot. And that's basically what I would say on the casual tier list. So now let's talk about the ranged weapons. So... The ranged weapons, uh, number one is going to go to the musket because the musket got increased in bullet speed. It got this generous hitbox. It's got everything you need. It's got good ammo count. You can shoot a lot of shots. You can do it fast. You can use it in weapon switching since weapon switching will be the meta of this game. I'm telling you, it's going to be the meta. And then next up, we actually have the cannon, that second place. Um... Cannon has great burst, great damage. It's pretty self-explanatory. You want to have the cannon uh, if you're not going to have the musket. Third place goes to the pistol because it has some of the best burst damage in the game, period. If not, no, the best burst damage in the game. You can actually shoot somebody and hit them so hard once that it does so much damage that it's not even funny how much damage you get from it. I'll show it to you. So... If you charge the shot up and just aim at their chest, that is so much damage from one shot. You know, like, that's a three-touch weapon. Um, super, super powerful. Definitely abusable. And then, the next up would be the repeating crossbow. Because if you uh, know my tech uh, that I talked about, which is uh, to burst it and you never lose your spread... And it still fires like a full auto, but you just have to like master that where you like and you do that as fast as you can. Uh, and it basically it's firing like full, but you just never lose your spread. And it makes it really, 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 really good. So yeah, that's for the repeating crossbow. And then in last place is the bow because number one, they nerfed the damage of it um, by a lot. And now, since it it still has this generous hitbox, so that's still good and everything. But because uh, they nerfed the damage and they buffed the musket, man, it's just it, you can't put the bow above any of these other weapons. It takes so long to charge up to, to get that good damage. And it's just really getting outclassed by the easiness of the cannon, the straight up fire rate and generous hitbox and bullet speed of the musket. And the, the, the range of the musket, by the way. And then the freaking burst damage of the pistol. Yeah. And then the consistency and the easy tracking that you have with the repeating crossbow. Only if you know how to do this. If you don't do this, then the bow is better than the repeating crossbow. But if you know how to do that, then the repeating crossbow is literally a laser beam. Uh, like, literally a laser beam. Like, look at that. That's ridiculous. So, yes, um, and that's my tier list for the ranged weapon and what I would consider meta. So, altogether, um, I would just like to say that the meta right now is definitely, definitely dagger, longsword, greatsword. If you're not playing those weapons, you're putting yourself in a bad position. Those are the best weapons in the game right now. You want to use those weapons. Range-wise... You want to be using the musket, the cannon, or the pistol. Those are the best range weapons in the game right now. If you're not using those, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. And with that being said, that's all that I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. I hope you use it. I hope you abuse everything that was in this video. And enjoy the meta. Enjoy the game. And see you guys in the next one.